What a beautiful day to be alive here in Vermont at Camp Mead. We are so excited and honored to have the Bread and Puppet Theater here on this auspicious day um, with this wonderful weather. At this time in our little nation, it's good to be reminded of the values that we really hold dear. And I, I have always found that the Bread and Puppet Theater's values are pretty close to mine. So this is a good time to hear the message again. Rejoice. We all come together in community. We have more in common than we have separately in division. And we need to co concentrate on that. And with that, I will introduce you to Alexis Smith, who will tell you what's going to happen. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I want to thank all of the amazing performers and staff and Red Hen and Russell and our sponsors and the Bread and Puppet Theater and folks from All Together Now and Emily Langsner and the Steel Drum Band who will be performing at the very end. And we are going to open with Arrow and Emily's group. And I am very happy to say that my friend, our friend Mia is here to do an acknowledgement to the land and the Abenaki people. And so let's begin with that. Thank you. Kwai Kwai. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Nilhegan Kosak territory, uh, one of the four recognized tribes in the Wabanaki Confederacy in the state of Vermont. Um, as Alexis just said, I have been asked here today to represent my Abenaki brothers and sisters. And um, while it's beautiful that our state has taken the step to declare this day um, Indigenous Peoples Day, uh, it is just a step. And there's still a lot of work to do because, um, I, like for example, it took the state until 2009 to uh, recognize that the Abenaki people were the original inhabitants of this land. And, um, and we're still here, and we're still struggling to keep the culture alive. In the 1900s, because of the eugenics movement, uh, we were forced to hide our culture in order to survive. And so when you can't practice your ceremonies and speak your language, it can kind of put a damper on things. That's why it is so important to um, learn about Abenaki culture, to help keep it alive. Because the more people that know about it, the more life that it has. And there is some movement in this direction, like this summer, this past summer, Middlebury College had its uh, first ever um, Abenaki uh, language immersion program, and it filled up really fast. So um, that's pretty cool. And it, you know, it'd be great to, to be able to even take it further and like, you know, maybe teach a unit in our public school system and get it to our kids. So I invite you to become Alnabak, a friend of the Abenaki and learn about the culture, and let it inspire you in the ways in which it will. And um, if you're looking for a place to start, a good place is alnabaiwi.org. That's um, A-L-N-O-B-A-I-W-I.org. This is a, cultural, a traditional cultural uh, revitalization project that is working really hard to keep the culture alive. Thank you. Hi, my name is Arrow Vino, and I'm honored to be here on this day, Indigenous Peoples Day. And uh, we're going to start with a song that I wrote, I think, about 17 years ago. And it lists a very incomplete 
Uh, it's a very incomplete list of North American tribes, and uh, I know there are many more. So this is to honor the native people of this land that we live on. Indigenous people 
you. This song was written by uh, an Australian musician by the name of Jalalo. She has an awesome video with the song with images about about you. Want to know? This is. If you want to know more about 5G, we do have some information. Um, you can find any of us wearing the blue costumes later in the event, and we can give you more information. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
this is standing with Standing Rock. We are still standing with Standing Rock. Yes, Ellen and I actually went to Standing Rock around Thanksgiving. It was an incredible experience. And the rest of the band is Ahmad on bass. Bill Carr on drums, John Cushing on guitar, and Ahmad. Okay. Okay.
Ladies and gentlemen and everyone above and beyond, I would now like to present to you a short poem entitled, Uh-oh, based on a poem by Antler, the former poet laureate of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. they need to give up their wings because flying indulges in an ego trip. <laughs> Hermit crabs decide they need to pay rent on their shells. Snakes invent banks in which they can invest their sloughed off skins. Beavers vote to build high-rise lodges above their beaver pond. Squirrels expect a $15 minimum wage for storing their nuts in secret. Earthworms install periodic toll booths upon their earthworm expressways in order to help defray construction costs. Butterflies get rich from the fee to see them emerging from their chrysalis. Lions build cages, lock themselves in, and charge admission to see themselves. <laughs> a salary. Cows demand that humans drink their own damn milk and eat their own sawn mussels. Trees agree to sprout money instead of leaves as long as they can grind up human corpses to print the tree news. One raindrop says to another raindrop, I don't believe in clouds, or that we are falling. Plankton fought to conquer the ocean, and seahorses try to stop them, and form cavalries and charge to periwinkle bugle call. Mayflies scheme how to be more famous as poets than other mayflies. Mountains want to get away from it all, too. They're tired of carrying the world on their shoulders. Roses make X-rated videos of their buds opening. Sloths realize that they had better change their lazy ways or else. Spiders refuse to spin webs unless they are displayed in art museums. And crickets refuse to cricket until haikus take notice. Whales, whales grow back their arms and legs so that they can return to land and work in factories. Flowers want to work in factories too. They feel guilty just sitting around all day being beautiful and smelling good. Penguins take off their tuxedos and wear their bum clothes for a change. <laughs>
is a story about Patrushka, about love and peace, peril and plunder, war prevention, matrimony, and ascension. Too much 
upon our plates bite off more than we can chew chewing and chewing who are we fooling we try our best but why we don't always win in this here life so we had better just enjoy the dog out there. Our best interests aren't in mind. Chasing our own tails, chewing and chewing, who are we fooling? We try our best, but why? We don't always win in this here life, so we had better just luck or fate or something worse the very workings of the universe there's no cure for stupid we're chasing our own tails chewing and chewing who are we fooling we try our best but why we don't always win in this here life so we had better just enjoy the fight. And just when things are going well, something big gets in our way. Accidents happen, there's no cure for stupid. We're chasing our own tails, chewing and chewing. Who are we fooling? We try our best. But why? We don't always win in this here life, so we had better just enjoy the fight. This happens to us all the time. The deck's always stacked against us. Why are we playing? Accidents happen. There's no cure for stupid. Chasing our own tails, chewing and chewing. Who are we fooling? We try our best, but why? We don't always win in this here life. So we had better just enjoy the fight. We're lying in a ditch all day, but some of us look at the stars. Burning so brightly, why are we playing? Accidents happen, there's no cure for stupid. Chasing our own tails, chewing and chewing. Who are we fooling? We try our best, but why? We don't always win in this here life, so we had better just enjoy the fight. A single spark can burn your whole house down. Be sure you're not inside. The world's always changing, so let's just keep dancing. Burning so brightly, why are we playing? Accidents happen, there's no cure for stupid. Chasing our own tails, chewing and chewing. Who are we fooling? We try.
region. Assistance from the ancestors of the region. Assistance from the land. This is Gidu.
Commemoration. 25 years ago, the Serbian army and paramilitary killed over 8,000 Bosnian Muslim men and boys in the city of Srebrenica, Bosnia, as UN peacekeepers stood by. Selo, selo,
Because we've got to be willing to wait in line all night if we have to. Yes. Yes. We've got to wait. Let our lives depend on it. Good people of Middlebury, I know that you read the New York Times, and so it will come as no surprise to you that scientists announced a few weeks ago that they had detected the loudest, most massive, most violent collision yet between two black holes. Two goliaths of darkness crashed into each other about seven billion years ago, vibrating space-time and producing a loud, sharp, sharp? Almost a bang, one scientist said. And it was recorded in the laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory in Italy, lasting only a tenth of a second. And now, just for you, my companion Sophie and I will reenact this celestial event. Hit it! Bam! <laughs>
1865, William Tecumseh Sherman issued Field Order 15, granting previously enslaved people 40 acres and a mule, finally sending reparations from the enslaver to the previously enslaved. Only to have President Andrew Johnson rescind the order one year later. In the words of Minister Malcolm X. Shabazz, if you stick a knife into my back nine inches and pull it out six inches, there's no progress. If you pull it all the way out, there's still no progress. Progress is healing the wound that the blow made. 2020. What will the wealthiest nation on earth do?
Thank <laughs> you. 